Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria Charles, and if this is your first time coming across this channel, you're very much welcome. Let us dive into this video. This is a unboxing a wig that I got from AliExpress, and then from there we'll you know talk about other things. Guys, if you hear any noise, it's my daughter. She was sleeping when I started this video and she just woke up and she came to my filming room. Ignore everything that's happening in the background, my things that are up there. Please do ignore it, okay? So yeah. I don't know if to show you guys the name of the the brand, but I think I will. So this is the wig. It's called Beauty. Well, I don't know if it's actually this, but this is how it came out. So beauty can be chosen so i bought a wig and i think it's a synthetic wig i initially thought it was a human hair wig because i thought i was cheap that's what i got it i'm not so much i'm not such a fan of i don't know when i see prices of wig i'm a bit thrown off by it but yeah i just wanted to get something different so in here it comes with a wig cap you know it's a type of brownish tone cap i think the regular color cap then it comes here with an extraction i think this is on how okay this is clean and care on how to you know take care of the wig and it says thank you for your purchase we hope you really love it and give us five stars if you give us five stars please contact via aliexpress and we'll refund you one dollar okay <laughs> And then later it comes with a eyelash, okay? The eyelash is okay. I don't I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just an eyelash. I thought it came with the glue. I would, I would have been so happy. But yeah. And then this is the wig. Okay. So this is the wig. It's brown. Look, okay. I don't think oh this is not a glueless wig it's a you know i think you have to glue it so this is how it is i'm trying to see if it shades as you can see i'm passing my hand through it it's soft and it's nice sorry for all the noise that you're going to be hearing okay uh, it is what it is so okay so this is the wig and this is how it is so i am going to be trying it on let me try it it has a pin and all that let me see let's see <laughs> come on it seems like the cap is small though Okay, sorry guys, I'm going to be looking this side because I have to see how I'm setting this wig, okay? Mm. Okay, let me look for a brush. Okay. I've gotten a brush. This is how it looks like. This is how it looks. It's very, very soft. And uh, it does have little shading. I think that's sort of expected from synthetic wigs. <laughs> But yeah, the cap fits. I think I would have to cut it, guys. I'm not good at cutting these things. I'm really not good at it. Not good at it at all. Is there any way I can just like hide it on them, manage it till I find someone who will help me to cut it? I'm not good at cutting wigs. Sorry that I'm not looking at you. Guys. Okay, <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm here. I do not know how to lay a wig, so I did cut the lace. I don't even know where I put it, but I did cut it. I cut some out. I didn't want to cut everything, um, everything out. I think I have to go and get a go to be glue. I think I was watching. Who was I watching? Gloria vlogs. Yeah, my name's sake. I was watching her, and she mentioned that you don't have to totally cut the glue. You don't have to cut totally cut the lace. That is simply, you know, you just have to cut small, and then use a glue. It will melt on your skin, and it looks more. Anyways, I want to try that. If it doesn't work, I think I'm just going to call someone to help me. So I wanted to talk about 
things i will do differently with my next child if i'm to have a, a second child what would i do differently as at this moment i only have one child and then yeah so okay look at the list <laughs> it's not you know as i used to do i used to see people this is hd lace but yeah back to what i was saying things that i would do differently if i have a second child i was just recently thinking about these things i was just like you know looking at the things that i'm currently doing with my daughter and i was like okay what are the things that i'll do differently if i have a second child right so i'll be looking at because i wrote it in my book okay so number one in my list is making my child to sleep in their court making my child to sleep in their bed training them to sleep in their baby cot because i remember buying a baby bed not the major big ones you know like those cots i bought what they called um the moses bed you know it's just a small size bed that is possible that you can carry along i don't to be honest sometimes i do regret buying that thing because my child did not even use it for once like i brought it out i put her there and she will cry she will literally cry and it's so annoying because that's the whole purpose of it i bought it so that she can stay in there and she never for once stayed in there so if i'm to have a next child i'm going to train my child to sleep in that bed number two in my list is to get a car yes as at this moment we don't have a car uh, my husband has been driving for a long time in nigeria but he's not been driving here i do not have a driving license i'm recent i want to go and register for a driving school and you know try to get my license because to be honest where we live we are great the location that we live we have everything close by but to be honest sometimes it's really stressful to go with your child in the in the public transport because it's very stressful catching up with the buses in the morning and dealing with kids tantrum in public transport is just tiring number three in my list is giving my child feeding bottles this <laughs> okay I'm, let me explain it when i gave birth at first my i wasn't producing milk the goat. I'm the goat. Me, I'm the goat. Me, I'm okay, right it was hard i was no milk was coming out and they kept on telling me put your child on the boob you know to stimulate it since i wanted to do exclusive breastfeeding but those few first two days that i spent in the hospital i wasn't there was nothing my child wasn't my child was latching well but there was just nothing coming out right so she started off in the hospital with feeding bottles till we got home i bought a breast pump and then what i'll do is um put this on my breast and you know to stimulate it and produce more milk so after getting that after being able to produce quite a lot of milk for my child i just stopped using feeling bottles i just gave my child direct from the breast what happens with this is that your child fully depends on you and then it gets to a point whereby your child don't like the feeling bottle again or sometimes so for other people it happens the contrary they don't like boobs and they just rather have um the feeding bottle they normally say that if you initially whatever you start with that's what your child will want i started with feeding bottle but my child liked um boobs at the end of the day so i finished throughout i i was breastfeeding my child for a period of one year she's right here mama so what happened is that um i couldn't just you know leave my child for someone or like it happened to carry her because she would cry and i have to you know come back and give her breast and it was very difficult so if i am to have a next child i will definitely train my i will try as much as possible to you know um pump as much milk as i can it's very stressful but i'm going to make that conscious effort because to be honest the reason why i was also giving my child boob is because of pure laziness like to stay there pumping and pumping and pumping separating which milk writing is so stressful but with my next child i'm going to try and make that effort to be able to give my child for the bottle so that other people can as well carry my child and i can do other things not that any small thing ah she's hungry i have to come back for i go out oh your child is crying no come mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. not at all the next in my list is train train them to sleep alone this is almost like the first point that i made to stay in their courts sleep in your bed okay 
to buy less clothes with my first child i did not buy so much clothes to be honest because each time that i went to the store it was confusing to me the first time that we were going to go and buy baby clothes baby clothes are so cute and you'll be tempted to want to you'll be tempted to buy so much clothes but in my case i did not get to buy so much clothes because it was very confusing i'll go to the store you will see 56 cm 72 cm it is something cm and i was just like i don't know how big or how small my child is so what if i'm not buying something that's so small or that is so big or if it's so big they'll grow with it but it doesn't look that cute when you just see a child just skews in a big clothes so what i'll do is buy less clothes and you know because they really are grow these clothes they sap they are grow these clothes so 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 fast so don't bother yourself buying so much clothes or so much things because they honestly do outgrow it the next one in my list is no need for toys no need for teddy bears like i know that we've bought our child toys and she barely plays with those toys and people have also bought her toys and she barely plays with those toys she only plays with the carton of the toy she rather play with the carton tear the carton bite the carton but the toy itself she's not really interested in the in the toy i think at the early stage you know toddler like one year two years they may not really totally understand the meaning of toy or what toys are used for so they are attracted to other things she rather have my pen she rather have my phone she rather have my charger cord she rather have everything else but the toy so if i'm to have another child i'm not going to invest so much money in buying toys because they don't really play with it okay or at least with my daughter she does not play with it come on hey behave yourself mish mish wow okay it's my <laughs> my video called so yeah coming back i said no toys the next on my list is i wouldn't be buying bottle sterilizer because you can actually sterilize it in a pot and yeah it works wonders like just have a clean pot and dedicate that pot to just sterilizing the bottles of your child i don't think there's well at, at least for me i don't see the need of buying sterilizers because i do sterilize them in our pot i do have some new pots that you know we got or the gutters and i just took out one and just dedicated that pot for the purpose of sterilizing the my child's filling bottles i won't buy any sterilizer for my next child so you're going to have the same process as your sisters yeah the next one is i won't be buying babies accessories especially for girls like i've bought my child baby accessories you know things for hair like this and all that that have cute things it's so dangerous because they end up putting it in their mouth so i'm not it's very scary <laughs> you know sometimes some comes with some you know like teddy bear type of design candies you know especially for girls i don't know for boys but especially for girls because i have a daughter they have all these nice accessories but they're very dangerous because most of the times my child pulls it out from her hair she does not want anything on her hair and she ends up putting it in her mouth and sometimes especially when they have teeth they are able to break all these things even if they are wood, they are able to break it it's so in incredible how they can do these things but they are able to break it and it's very 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 dangerous okay so i wouldn't be doing that i wouldn't be buying accessories especially if my next child is a girl and lastly i wouldn't be i think that's it okay and the next in my list is i would not be buying them shoes especially when they are babies because they don't walk they don't do anything so the only reason that will make me buy shoes is when they officially start walking or they're making attempts to walk that's when i'll buy my child's shoes but aside from that i'm not going to waste money in buying those shoes that look like toys for babies it looks cute when you dress them with their little shoes and their small small shoes it looks so 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 cute but i wouldn't be spending my money in buying those things because yeah no need i'm just going to buy my child is it called mittens or socks for their legs to keep them warm and all that but no need for shoes because they don't use it it looks cute if you want to buy your child shoes and <laughs> there's no problem i would not buy my child those shoes okay 
and the last in my list is creating a sleeping routine a sleeping pattern when they are babies you really can't do much you're the one who has to adapt to their sleeping pattern but when they are toddlers at least that they sort of sleep throughout the night i will be creating a sleeping pattern if you have to sleep by nine you're going to sleep by nine and if you wake up by nine then you're going to wake up by nine we're going to create that pattern and you have and you have your naps at social time so it's very it's very good because to be honest for example my child does not have a sleeping pattern she said well i think she has a sleeping pattern mm -hmm. in the sense that when i was not working we sleep very very late so now she's used to sleeping very very late and now that i'm working i need her to sleep early because i need to go to bed early to be able to wake up early and it's very hard so she has gotten used to that pattern that we had when i was not working that we sleep very late we sleep 11 12 stay there in the living room till we get tired and then we go to bed and now that i really need her to sleep early is very hard so now that she's going to soon start school and all that i need to create that pattern so that it will be easy so yeah guys this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it um thank you very much for getting up to this point if you got to this point you're an og leave a pineapple i don't know why but leave a pineapple okay I mean. so yes guys thank you very much for watching do not forget to subscribe guys do subscribe if you have not subscribed up to this point what are you waiting for please guys subscribe hit the notification bell that comes at, at your at, at the left or the right click also that you'll be the first to be notified whenever i upload a video and then yeah don't also forget to like this video so that youtube can recommend this video to other people as well share it and you know do all the nice things do all the good things and see you in my my next one okay bye